So Dan, um, tell me, what made you do this? Going back to when I started, all I could afford to pay that first person that decided to work with me was $24,000 a year and no health care or anything. And so ever since then, I've been trying to work on getting better pay, getting better wages. It's always been on my mind, but there's a question of could the company afford it? And so I finally got to a place where we were successful enough that I felt like we might be able to pull it off. We're not talking about just a raise. We're talking about a pretty big bump. Where did you come up with the math? Why did you decide on the level you decided? So there's a 2010 Princeton study that I'm a huge fan of that basically says up to around $70,000, $75,000, every extra dollar you make has an impact on your happiness because making less than that actually has an impact on your emotional health. And dollars over that don't really do anything. So you can maybe get more luxuries or things that you don't need, but your basics are covered once you get to that point. And my team is very much passionate, and I don't want them to be distracted with money. So I thought, what's the amount of money that they have to make at a minimum to not be distracted and just to focus on their work? Some people yeah. say this is a big publicity stunt. Yeah, you know, I, when I... when It's I, marketing. It's a great marketing, but that's what it is. When I figured out how I would pay for it, I did think that the marketing would help me, like, maybe 10% or something. The other 90%, I really thought, was empowerment and helping people perform better. What was the reaction? What did they say to you? People were just excited, happy. You know, I heard, um, now I can have a baby. I heard, now I can move out. Uh, from my parents' house. I heard now I can live down the street from the office instead of having an hour commute. You know, those are things that, you know, for me, it was the best money I've ever spent in my life. This has gone viral. You're, you're putting a lot of pressure on other CEOs out there. You know, what is your message to them? Do you think this is something that other companies can do, should do? So my message is think about what's the right thing for you to do. Because with leadership, there's a moral imperative to lead and to do the right thing for those that you're leading. But it's different for everybody. When I started, I couldn't afford to do this. And I've actually gotten many uh, letters and emails from other CEOs saying, I'm gonna follow suit, or I'm working so hard every day in my business because I wanna be able to do something like this for my team someday. So I really do think it'll inspire people. And I think we're gonna start seeing a reversal of this inequality trend.